Good morning readers, it's Tilly here from Tilly Shelf and welcome to another Bookish Breakfast. And this Bookish Breakfast is going to be a very, very brief one because I'm about to go to work. Um, and it's going to function as my announcement video for participating in Sagalong 2021. Um, so this is the third year of Sagalong um, and I've been involved since the first year. So the first year I was a reader, I was a reader. Um, the second year I was a co-host and we read the Laxdela Saga, which was amazing. And then um, I re read for my like separate... Um, hosting weeks, because we did a little bit of both, uh, the Volsunga saga, which is a saga that I really enjoyed. Um, it's got dragons, it's got magical rings, it, it's brilliant. Um, but this year we're doing it slightly differently, and we are all reading um, Njal's saga, um, which is a much longer saga, um, which I'm finding slightly intimidating, because um, I haven't finished a book at this stage for nearly a month, um, and <laughs> this is chunky. Um, but we're breaking it down into nice, easy um, seg segments. It's going to be a, a, a better pace to read along, I think. Um, so we're reading approximately 50 chapters a week, and the first the videos will be on April 10th, April 17th, April 24th, and May 1st. Um, so did I say 50 chapters a week? I meant 40 chapters a week. So on April 10th, we will be posting videos to discuss the first 40 chapters, and I will try to post on time this time. Um, so I'm a little bit behind. The rest of the uh, co-hosts, um, who I will read a list of in just one moment, um, all posted their announcement videos um, a while ago, a few days ago, let's say. Um, maybe on Friday? Um, but I was a little bit late to the game this time, um, due to just being a generally disorganised human being. Um, and this, this copy just arrived yesterday, so I'm very, very excited um, that I now own it and um, I will be able to dive in and help out. So what is Njal's saga? It was written in the late 13th century um, and apparently it is the most popular and powerful of all the great Icelandic family sagas. Um, it's got blood feuds, it's got um, like prophetic dreams, it's got prophecies, it's got um, violent conflict, um, and the blurb described it as, at once, heroic and deeply human. Um, the thing that I enjoy about the sagas is like seeing the, the little things that are kind of recognisable and normal and human um, in this context of often uh, like very um, exaggerated and dramatic events um, and often told with, with a sense of humour and quite a lot of literary merit. So I'm looking forward to diving into this one in April. Um, so the co-hosts are... Elena McQuidina, um, and I should say that I think Sagalong was her idea initially. Um, Elizabeth at Bookish North, um, Mark at Richardson's Reads, Luke Lukash at Cruel Readers Thesis. Um, there's been like a, a running um, joke in the, the um, co-host chat um, about how bad everyone is at pronouncing everybody's names, and I can't believe I just said Luke instead of Lukash. But anyway, <laughs> um, Steve Donahue, of course, um, Scott and Becky at The Booker's Bryants, Dario at Motley Reads, Jack at Rambling Raconteur, and Scott Danielson. Um, did I already say Elizabeth at Booker's North? I think I did. Um, yeah, and that is uh, everybody who's joining in, and it should be fun, and you should join us. Um, and you can get Njal Saga um, as an ebook. you can also get it the full text for free online if you don't want to um, invest in a uh, Penguin Classics edition. Um, there's also a couple of other editions available um, in the UK that are, I think, slightly cheaper. I just went for this one because their edition of the Laxdela like, Saga was really good and had lots of uh, interesting additional notes, so yeah. Just a little bit loyal to, to Penguin at the moment. Um, Anyway, thank you for, for listening, uh, and I hope to see some of you participating in Sagalong 2021, and now I'm going to run to work. <laughs> see you later. Bye.